Hello everybody. Uh, I'd like to make a video about, this is my video number five, about internet dating. I am now in a site called Russian Dating Site. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. I'm going to show you what, what a fake or how to identify fake profile here. Again, it's a free site, Russian Danny site, dot com. I'm looking now a woman there. Age 23 there. Now, this one have one photo. It's very easy to identify a scammer. Usually they have one photo there. When you look at your profile, If you look at a profile here, I can tell straight away, but to look at the education there, and occupation, and language there, that is a giveaway. I can tell straight away a fake already. Now this person, 23 years old, she's got a master's degree in uh, jurisprudence and linguistic at 23. There. I find that very hard to believe. Man. Occupation, a lawyer and translator. Language, you speak three languages, English, German, Russian. I find it very hard to believe this one. And when you look at the other one there, ideal match, the age there, 25 to 35. I want to be reliable, good sense of humor, uh, nordic appearance. The word, the word there, nordic appearance, I'm from Australia. People in the world, Western world do not use this type of word. These people, what they do, they get a word and they translate it in English. You can check it out, you can translate just about every language in Google there. The word Nordic appearance, nobody actually used this word in the Western world. Hardly there. And also without children or previous relation. I'm looking for a sincere, long-term relationship, which lead to creating a strong and happy family. Now, the word there, lead to create a strong, happy family, I've seen that word many times in a dating site, especially in Russia or Ukraine site. That word, when you look at it, create strong and happy family, I can tell straight away, it's a fake profile. Also the language there, English, Germany, Russian at the age of 23. It's a fake profile already. A lawyer, translator at the age of 23. I find it hard to believe. Now, a scammer is usually put a woman with excessive makeup there. This is a scammer what to look for. That's a scammer what to look for. I'll take another one. This one, a 42 years old woman there. She's got a lot of photos. Again, they use a lot of excessive makeup there. Okay, now when you look at occupation there, a manager. I've seen many occupation 
in women's profile from Russia or Ukraine, a manager, a teacher, a caseworker, assistant doctor, automatically I can tell a profile is fake already here. Also, when you look at self-description, I'm open-minded, positive, caring, creative, sport and warm and warm person. I can see that one's fake already. So men have to be careful here, a profile, which is real, which is fake. This one done with a, a good scammer, this one. There is a good scammer, there is a professional scammer, and there is a stupid scammer. And I see them all. I'll take another profile. Now this is a, a woman, 42 years old, she's got three photos. Now when you look at the age, what she's looking for in a man, eighteen to ninety nine. If a person on internet dating site looking for eighteen ninety nine, that's a giveaway already. That is fake already. Can you see eighteen ninety nine? They, need, they usually never put occupation in some of the scammers there. This is, this is a, a, a stupid scammer here. They're not very clever, this one. And when you look at the children, you've got one children. Uh, these scammers also have to trick men with children there. And also age 18 or 99, they trick. And this scammer also try to trick a mature men there. Men could be their 60s, 70s there. You have to be careful when you read this profile that they're trying to trick you. So, that is the three profiles I'm going to use for this video. You have to be careful, men, when they look profile like this 18 to 99. one children. They're targeting men with children as well, amateur men as well. Once you communicate with scammers, it depends how good they are. Some are very good, but some are just really stupid scammers really. They don't have basic common sense there. Scammers really communicate nicely to you in a letter, like a poem, like a poetry. They use like a poetry there. After two or three weeks, then I start to create stories there. After that, we'll escalate level. It depends how good they are. They want, uh, they want to get inside to you. After four weeks, five weeks, in my experience, when I talk to many uh, Ukraine or Russian, but mainly Ukraine women, I talk to a lot of Ukraine women in the past, they're going to ask money to make passport. They want to see you. If you look at my other video, it's all quite explanatory in detail there. Passport, they give you the cost, and airline ticket, they give you the cost. In Australia, I'm from Australia. To send money with Western Union, you need to have an ID. To collect money from Western Union, you need to have an ID as well. Or MoneyGram, you need to have ID to send and collect. In Ukraine, the same thing, or in Russia. But in these two countries, there's an organized and criminality people out there. In Ukraine, if you do research there, you can buy a university degree for $50. Again, in Ukraine, you can buy a university degree for $50. If you can buy a university degree for $50 in Ukraine, I'm sure you can buy a fake travel license or identification card or passport. You can buy them. It's not hard. Anything goes in Ukraine. You got money, you can buy anything there. Now, when you send money to these people, they will collect under that name. And their ID, it's not, it's not difficult to make. They're very easy for these guys. Also, an agency in Ukraine, in Russia, 
like Western Union or MoneyGram, they're also working with these people. They are working together with these people and they get percentage. I do believe this. So for men out there, just be careful when you send money, Western Union, Western Union or MoneyGram or other areas, usually by this method. Once you send it, they will collect it and you won't get your money back, it's that simple. These people and organized crime criminality over there has been doing this or scamming this for years. And then at the protocol, step by step, very clear, these people. So if the men want to find a wife, I suggest you need to go there, Ukraine or Russia, on the village, a small village area, not in the city area, not Moscow, not Kiev, not Odessa, you're not going to find a good people there. You want to find a good wife in Ukraine, Russia, you need to go there, you, go, you need to go to the small village. Uh, for from Western men, for Western men, they need to have a translator on site as well. Some of these women, they cannot speak English, but some are learning in development stage. Ukraine women, they learn second English now because they want to leave Ukraine and they know English is necessary. So some of the Ukrainians speak a little bit English, but but if you want to go, if you want to go to Ukraine and find a wife to travel, you need to have a lot of money, considerable wealth there. You need to travel over there from left to right, stand hotel or motel. You need to have a translator with you when you communicate with these people. This is the only way, my this is the only way and my recommendation if you want to find out a wife in Ukraine or Russia there. You need to go there. You need to travel. You need to go to the village area, and you need to have a lot of uh, consider a lot of money as well. A wealthy sort of like wealthy person there. Because finding a wife abroad is very expensive. They're not cheap. Very, very expensive. If you've got the money, if you've got the fun to do it, then I suggest you do it. But internet dating, I said that again, internet dating, you're not going to find a person that, in internet dating. Because they're all scammed. Eh? It runs by criminality. Also an agency, there's a lot of Ukraine-based agencies and establishment, and they get a lot of commission, these women. They're as well working with these people. So, just before I go, number one rule, do not send money to people you don't know. I said that again, number one rule, do not send people you don't know. It's that simple. Once you send it, you won't get it back. You will not get your money back. I hope this site is very insightful with the internet dating for men out there. Around the world, you can say. I am experienced with internet dating site. I've been around for a while now. I know what to look for and I hope my information is unuseful for men out there. And that pretty much concludes my video for internet dating. You can look at my video site for internet dating site. Uh, this is my video number five. I think it's, I cover pretty much in many aspects and in detail there, comprehensive in detail there. And I am very experienced in the internet dating site. Very experienced. So, Internet dating, Russian dating site, you can check it out, cost you nothing. Just be careful out there, when you talk to people out there, always check the facts. And number one is credibility. Make sure credibility is out there, which is very hard to find. Thanks for watching, goodbye.